this week. Mm -hmm. Now it's on her mind. I'm sure it is. Look, I'm, um, I'm going to visit Robin at the summer camp today. Uh, care to come along? You mean it? Wouldn't have asked unless I uh, felt that way. Mm -hmm. I'd love to. Thank you for asking. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Well, there are a few things I'll have to do at the office. I'm going to take off. I've got some business to take care of, so what's so we meet at Sean's in half an hour? Perfect. And next time you can buy the breakfast. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I don't know who said it. I don't know if it was Robert or Sean. But they said, once you get involved with the WSB, after that your life is never the same. Yeah, well, that seems to be the case, doesn't it? It also includes the people that you're with, the people that you're close to. Their lives are never the same either. You mean me? Yes. I don't know if I told you this. I, everybody else knows about it, but this week is the week that Frisco and I have a wedding anniversary. I know. I wish nobody knew about it. Why? Because everybody's just trying so hard to be so thoughtful and to be so polite and to be so sweet that it's making things so much worse, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. But I'm sure they're just doing it because they love you. I know. I have a lot of wonderful friends. Yeah. Well, you deserve them. You're the kind of person that attracts wonderful people. Now I know why you have your own television show, because you have a way of making people feel much better. Do you think I don't have a right to ask about the assistant chief of staff? I mean, uh, uh, we're all family. Precisely. And I think the family's getting just a tad too closely involved. Well, that's exactly why I'm asking. I want to keep it in the family. Oh, Edward, do stop badgering the girl. I'm not badgering her, am I, Monica? Yes, you are. Look, I'm going to make one last comment on this subject. I don't know who's going to be assistant chief of staff. That is Steve's decision and Steve's alone. Unless you decide to hang around a little longer, huh? Lila, mm -hmm. how are your culinary endeavors coming along with Charlene? Well, we are going, we're planning to get together again quite soon and uh, try out another session. <laughs> Monica, dear, I think we should be going because we both have uh, We both have uh, meetings. Yes, that is true, we do. Edward, dear. There are some samples of my wares left in the kitchen, if you're interested. Not on your life. Goodbye, Edward. Bye, Edward. Jennings. Jennings? Sir. Jennings, uh... Is there um, any of that stuff in the pantry? Stuff, sir? Yes, that stuff that uh, Mrs. Quartermain brought home the other night. Oh, yes, indeed there is. Uh, well, I uh, I think I'll have a little of it. Very good, sir. Uh, Owen Jennings, uh, not a word about this to Mrs. Quartermain. Of course not. Hey, Tom. Scotty, what are you doing? I, uh, I lost my key. What, did you drop it out here? Uh, no, no, I, uh, I think I left it up in the uh, old apartment. Did you forget something? Well, you know what they say, you know, you, you forget something, so, uh, you gotta come back. That's probably true. Yeah. So, did you leave it down here or up in the old apartment? I, uh, I think it's upstairs. Well, why don't you go get it? Yeah. Is Bobby here? I think so. Go on. She won't bite. You want to bet? <laughs> well, I'm sure everything will be fine. Anyway, I'm expecting someone down here. Oh, really? Strictly professional. 
Okay. The mustache fell off, huh? Yeah. Miracle of Velcro. But I like the beard. I'll See you later. Louise, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you weren't coming. I almost didn't. Well, would you like to sit down? I'll stand. Thanks. You want to tell me why you almost didn't come? Or do you ever sound like a psychiatrist? That's probably because I am. <sighs> Is it okay for you to be practicing away from the hospital? Yes. If I choose to. So now you've chosen to. On me. Louise. I'd like to help you. If you'll let me. What makes you so damn sure I've got a problem? I never said you did. Do you? I think I'd better leave. Okay. I'll see you down at the center. You don't mind if I go? No. Listen, um... There really is... <laughs> There's something that I would like to talk to somebody about. Well, how about I give it a try? <laughs> How about I give it a go? Okay. Do you enjoy your work at the center? Very much. Really? Well, sometimes. Well, very much. Which part do you like best? Working with the children, of course. All of the children? Well, no. Not all of them. There's nothing wrong with that. Which group do you prefer? The younger ones. Why, Louise? They're much more appreciative. Is that the only reason? What are you getting at? Just that I happen to know firsthand the younger ones are more controllable. Is that why you think I prefer them? Do you think you're afraid that I'm going to lose control? Do you think I am frightened of the older ones? Are you? Well, you are very clever. You're very, very clever. I'm not trying to be Louise. Well, then stop digging at me. Stop it. Stop it, or I'm going to go out the door. Brunella? The dishes are all done. Oh, good. Uh, I have to go over to my office, so you hold the fort down here for me, will you? Hold down the fort? Yeah, but just uh, look after things. 
Oh, I'll do my very best. Um, and I'm sorry I take this hill this morning. Oh, well, you, 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 you really didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I know I did. Because, among other things, I talk too much. Don't you think? I promise I will not talk. Uh, I promise uh, I will uh, not talk. Uh, Prunella, uh, you are a, a, a very unusual woman. And people will just have to get to know you, I guess. You uh, have a good day. Hmm? Bye. Bye-bye. Lover, when you're near me. <laughs> well, Sean seemed in something of a hurry. Yeah, he sure did. Well, whatever. Alone at last. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. I thought you said you came here for something, to pick something up. Mm, I have. Robert! Oh, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Slip my mind in the table. That looks official. Mm, it is. It's a file I started to compile on Lavery back when we first started playing this game. You know, family stuff, history. Bits and pieces like that. Sounds intriguing. He's back with the mob, I know it. And there's a link here, a reason. I don't know what it is, but I'm just the boy to find it out. Two more. Uh, and how's the rental struggle going? Not so good. Did you see that guy with the cigar? <laughs> Must be not your type. No, not exactly. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, uh, before I forget, I brought Felicia's package back down. I put it on the baker's right Oh, here. good. I'll see that she gets it. Really? Uh, and I stole another cup of coffee. That'll cost you. How much? Favor? Favor? Sure. What? I've got landlord's fever. I need a break. I have to get out of here. Oh, oh. no, no, no. No, go ahead. No, I'll take care of everything. But the problem is, I have two more appointments with people coming to look at the apartment and they're 15 minutes apart, so would you show it for me? Oh, sure, sure. Um, the only thing is, I, how do I know, ooh, how do I know if you're going to live up to your standards? Here? Well, just use your judgment and uh, take a good look and decide if you want to see them living real close. Okay, okay, but male or female? Doesn't matter, just see if they're nice and decide if you think they can pay the rent. <laughs> okay, that's the most important. Hey, can you show me the apartment? Because I haven't seen it in a while, and I think I need to take a look at it so I know what I'm talking about. Sure, let's do okay. it. Thanks. Hey, hey, where do you think Hello, you're going? Girl, what are you talking about? Those are my pillows. I bought those. I bought those pillows. What are you talking about, Steve? Those are my pillows. I bought them. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me.